Hey everyone, welcome to Coin Oz. Today we will be taking you to a journey through history, rarity, and the incredible value found in the smallest of treasures. Today, we unveil the top 10 most valuable Lincoln cents. Prepare to be amazed by the stories and fortunes hidden in plain sight. Hit that subscribe button below this video, activate notifications, and let's get started. 1931 S. Lincoln Cent Kicking off our list is the 1931 S, known for its low mintage. This scarcity makes it a prized possession among collectors. Given specimen is in mint state 66 plus red, and it was graded by PCGS. A boldly struck representative, showcasing frosted honey gold luster with coppery undertones. The strike is sharp, and there are no distracting abrasions. A few pepper specks scattered across the reverse are only observed with a loop. It ended up selling for $18,600. 1914 D. Lincoln Cent Although the 1909 SVDB is considered the key date to the Lincoln Cent series, its conditional rarity falls far behind that of many other dates, particularly in the finer red grades. The 1914 D stands out in this regard, confirming its key date status. Only 1.1 million Lincoln cents were struck at the Denver Mint in 1914, and few high-quality specimens were saved by contemporary collectors. As a result, it is many times scarcer in MS-65 red than the 1909 SVDB and is prohibitively rare any finer. Most of the high-grade examples we know about today probably come from a hoard of about 700 pieces that Walter Breen says existed until the 1950s, although Q. David Bowers reports two rows of red and brown uncirculated specimens were discovered in Hawaii or the Philippines in the 1970s. This rare gem was sold for $81,075. 1922, No D. Lincoln sent with strong reverse. The 1922 No D, the only Lincoln sent without a mint mark. This anomaly makes it a must-have, with value soaring up to tens of thousands of dollars for coins in fine condition. According to Heritage Auctions, such a high-grade example affords an unusual opportunity to examine what a no-D strong reverse scent must have looked like when it was new, though with the understandable mellowing of time. The obverse is a mushy mess, the L in Liberty pulled to the rim and the portrait under-detailed, the luster of the whole a quicksilver gloss found only on the most put-upon dyes. The reverse, of course, is far sharper and has a distinct swirl to the underlying luster. This MS-65 specimen was sold for $82,250. 1969 S. Lincoln sent with double dye obverse, graded in mint state 63 red by PCGS. This beautiful scent has fully brilliant orange luster with satiny, slightly reflective surfaces and bold design features. A few tiny surface marks and a minor obverse spot are all that prevent a higher numerical grade. The date, Liberty, and in God we trust, are all boldly doubled, sharply enough that the doubling can be seen without a magnifying glass. That is part of what makes this double dye variety so popular. Machine doubled 1969 S cents are very common and have no premium value. Those machine doubled pieces have a doubled mint mark in addition to other doubling. As always on genuine examples, the mint mark is normal with no doubling. That is the case because the die doubling occurred before the mint mark was punched into the die. This rare piece was sold for $86,250. 1955 Lincoln Cent with double die obverse. The 1955 Lincoln Cent DDO refers to a variety of the 1955 Lincoln Wheat Cent that exhibits a double die obverse DDO. This means that the design elements on the front side of the coin, such as the lettering or date, appear doubled due to a mistake during the die creation process. The 1955 DDO is one of the most famous and sought-after double die varieties in the Lincoln Scent series. It is highly valued by collectors for its rarity and distinctive appearance. If you believe you have a 1955 Lincoln Scent with a double die obverse, it's advisable to have it authenticated and graded by a professional numismatist or reputable coin grading service. This awe-inspiring scent in MS-65 plus red condition fetched a sum of $114,000. 
1917 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse the 1917 Lincoln Scent DDO refers to a variety of the 1917 Lincoln Wheat Scent that exhibits a double dye obverse, DDO. A double dye occurs when the dye used to strike the coin is doubled in some way, resulting in certain elements of the design appearing doubled or overlapping. The 1917 FS101 is one of the most pronounced double dye obverse varieties in the entire Lincoln Scent series with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God We Trust in the motto. Writing in the 2009 edition of the Cherry Picker's Guide to Rare Dye Varieties of United States Coins, Bill Fivers and J.T. Stanton described the 1917 FS101 DDO as arguably the most sought after of the early Lincoln scent varieties. This specimen was sold for $120,000 at Stax Bowers Auction. 1909 SVDB Lincoln Scent According to Stax Bowers, among the most famous coins in American numismatics and one that even non-collectors have sought ever since its introduction, the 1909 SVDB Lincoln Scent has stood the test of time in terms of popularity. The centennial of Lincoln's birth in 1909 provided an opportunity for Theodore Roosevelt to continue with his pet crime to revitalize the nation's coin designs. Sculptor and medalist Victor David Brenner had designed some medals for Roosevelt in 1908 and also created a bronze plaque featuring the now familiar profile of Lincoln. Brenner suggested to Roosevelt that the scent would be an excellent choice to commemorate Lincoln, especially since Longacre's Indian design was half a century old by that time. A landmark example of this perennially popular, key date issue from the first year of the Lincoln scent series. Untroubled by even the most trivial blemishes, the surfaces approach the zenith of numismatic perfection. They are fully lustrous and frosty with outstanding mint color in vivid reddish-orange, razor-sharp and striking detail with extraordinary eye appeal. This MS-67 red gem ended up selling for $168,000. 1958 Lincoln Scent with Double Dye Obverse Graded in Mint State 64 Red by PCGS According to Stax Bowers, an intriguing variety and exceedingly rare coin that stands tall among the highlights in the present collection. Indeed, this is one of the most significant Lincoln scents of any variety that we have ever offered. A particularly strong double die in the 20th century U.S. coinage series, all types included, the spread to the doubling is wide and pronounced on the letters in the word liberty and the motto, in God we trust. Less pronounced doubling is also evident on the digits in the date, particularly the 8. This highly sought-after specimen was sold for $336,000. 1944 S. Steel Scent in Mint State 66 The 1944 S. Steel Scents were off-metal errors created from leftover planchets. Although less publicized than the 1943 Copper Scents, they are similarly rare. The intermingling of planchets explains the variation in availability among mints. Examples of Belgian steel coins struck in silver and 1,943 p, 1,943 s, and 1,944 p cents on silver planchets further highlight the wartime mixing of materials. According to Heritage Auctions, this premium gem, PCGS 1944 s steel scent, shows remarkable preservation and splendid luster throughout both sides, a coin that has clearly been well taken care of over the years. Neither side shows any mentionable contact or post-mint distractions. The high points display a bit of golden patina through the centers of each side. The mint mark is large and well-formed. It was sold for $408,000 in 2021. 1943 D. Bronze Scent the 1943 D bronze scent is a highly rare and valuable coin that was struck in error by the United States Mint during World War II. In 1943, due to the shortage of copper, the U.S. Mint produced Lincoln scents using zinc-coated steel planchets instead of the usual copper alloy planchets. However, there are a few known instances where bronze planchets intended for 1942 pennies were accidentally used in 1943. The 1943D bronze scent is one of these errors. It bears the date 1943, but it is composed of bronze rather than zinc-coated steel. This error occurred at the Denver Mint, hence the D mint mark. 
Only a handful of these coins are known to exist, making them extremely rare and highly sought after by collectors. This MS-64 brown specimen was sold for $840,000 at heritage auctions. These Lincoln cents represent not just monetary value, but a rich tapestry of American history and numismatics. From era coins to rarities, each tells a unique story of its era, minting, and discovery. Discover more treasures in numismatics. Subscribe for more fascinating journeys through coin history. God's willing, see you in the next episode.